Hey gang, it's JC, and this is the Daily Dose for Monday, August 8th, 2011, a combined venture with Mind Active in beautiful downtown Brentwood. We have great television archives top of the page. We also have our eye candy feature right below what you're looking at right now. We also have Sexually Speaking with Dr. Kathy Naughton from the Center for Sexual Health. And we have our rock and roll poll question in the corner, which on Friday was, other than a house and a car, what's the most expensive or valuable thing you own? Number one answer, 37%. I don't own anything valuable, particularly. Number two answer, other at 26%. See, I was trying to figure out what things might be valuable that you have, and apparently I didn't do a very good job. Jewelry, 21%. Musical instrument, 10%. Sports or entertainment collectible, 5%. And a piece of art, only 2 so what are those other things? What are you on a boat or something like that? Uh, Got to think about that a little bit. All right. So we have these clowns down in Webster Groves now pointing laser pointers at police helicopters. And if you saw the simulation of what happens when a laser pointer hits that bubble, it illuminates the whole cabin, and these guys are flying around you can't see. You don't want a guy flying a helicopter over your house who can't see where he's friggin' going. And people are pointing him at jumbo jet airliners, and when it really comes down to it. Are laser pointers even necessary? I mean, other than, uh, you know, maybe a professor using it to point out something or, uh, um, uh, you know, making your cat go crazy, chasing a dot around the room. So I think it's a legitimate question to ask at this point if maybe, maybe we ought to ban the sale of these things. Are they necessary in our society, really, laser pointers? You want to bring down a jumbo jet airliner or crash a police helicopter just because some clowns decide they want to fool around? So, I don't know, yes or no, that's our rock and roll poll question. We'll have a discussion about this today on the air on the Big 550 KTRS, where Trish Gazelle and I reside every day from noon until 3. Here's something sort of freaky. JonBenet Ramsey would have turned 21 over the weekend. I have no line, no joke, no other comment other than that freaks me out. Uh, also, good movie. Going to be on twice this week. On I think it's on HDNet or HD Movies or something like that. Uh, it's called The Dish with Sam Neill, and it has to do with the moon landing and a little tiny town in Australia that was very, very instrumental in allowing us to see Neil Armstrong land on the moon. It's a great movie. The movie is called The Dish. It's one of my all-time favorite movies. Patrick Warburton, who is in Seinfeld, is also in it. You might want to check it out. One of the last places I thought I'd ever end up is on the food uh, um what now, like a blog, like a, a, a forum, yeah, the forum on stltoday.com. I've been talking about these Vidalia onions where you shove the bouillon cube and the butter in and then you tie it off in foil, put it on the hot part of the grill for about a half an hour and it comes out just tasting amazing. And uh, people are now talking about that. I don't know, stltoday.com and the food forum, never imagined that. Oh, and if you were watching Channel 5 over the weekend and you saw my sorry ass, let me explain. You know, I've been pretty critical of the I'm just saying commentaries on Channel 5. I didn't like the way they were doing them for a long time, but I think they're doing them better now. And long story, it's a very, very long story, but I'm doing my first one tonight at 10 o'clock. Got another one in the can for next week about 9-11. Tonight, we're going to be talking about the convention that's here in St. Louis right now of the convention planners. And it's funny and it's pretty good. I hope you enjoy it. And might be doing these things on a more regular basis now. But again, I'm just saying tonight at 10, watch the severe weather that's coming. Uh, knock. <laughs> I'll get bumped for severe weather. That would be called irony. So let's see what happens on that. Uh, you don't know who Nicki Minaj is. You don't have to know. She's dancing around on Good Morning America on Friday, and her boob popped out. And the parents' television council is madder than hell about it. Anybody surprised? All right, uh, Steve Williams, Tiger Woods caddy for like 100 years, uh, gets bounced by Tiger. So he caddies for Adam Scott over the weekend at the Bridgestone Invitational, and the guy wins, and Tiger finishes 37th place. Whoa. All right, this uh, Charlie Sheen story just won't go away, and now it turns out, according to TMZ, his girlfriend pushes him off the platform on a subway in Paris, and there's going to be a meet explosion is what they say here. They are apparently having fun with this. This producer, Chuck Lorre, might be getting the last laugh on Charlie Sheen. Charlie had his way with Chuck Lorre, the producer, for months, and now Lorre just might be getting the last laugh in this whole thing. Premiere is September 19th. Everybody is going to be watching, including Charlie, and that's from Charlie's own mouth. Next season of Desperate Housewives is going to be its last. Jersey Shore 
pulls in almost 9 million people, beats out all the competition, even on the regular networks like CBS, where Big Brother did 7.5 million people that even beat that by 2 million. You know those complimentary copies of USA Today you get when you stay in a nice hotel? They're not complimentary. They're charging you for them. I don't know why I didn't figure this out a long time ago. More than half of the daily circulation of USA Today uh, they are claiming is in those uh, distribution and hotels, which I know a lot of people just take it and throw it in the trash. So is that even a, an accurate number? Very, very interesting story brought to our attention by stlmedia.net. Hi, Mike. And uh, one of these signs of the times is pretty scary stuff. Television station, a television station, mind you, in Buffalo, New York, is shipping out all of its controls to an out-of-state company. So they'll be sitting there in Buffalo doing the news and running the controls instead of on the other side of the glass in a control room are going to be a bunch of guys sitting in Atlanta. This is getting just too freaky for words. A lot of people losing their jobs, too. Last year, a 63-year-old woman started winning the lottery like crazy in, uh, in Texas. And she has a Ph.D. from Stanford in statistics, but she would still need more information. They think it might be an inside job. She keeps winning the lottery in Texas, even though she lives in Vegas, and people are starting to smell a rat. And it's hard to believe that something like this could happen in this day and age of computers and computer technology. But two women were born uh, 29 and 23 years ago, respectively. They were homeschooled, raised in the Appalachian Mountains, um, never uh, uh, in a hospital, never registered for any. The government doesn't think they exist. They're trying to get jobs right now. They have no social security numbers. They have, the government has no record of these two women existing, and this thing is going to end up going to the federales at this point. Baseball players trying to get around the band on steroids by putting deer antler spray under their tongues, which is supposed to do something, and Bartola Colon who had an injured shoulder for the Yankees last year, now has the highest strikeout total since 2005, and it's because he was getting experimental stem cell injections into his elbow during the off season, and so it goes. Next time you're on the road and you're raging, remember this, there's about a 1 in 3, I'm sorry, 1 in 33 chance that somebody's going to get out of the car and punch your lights out. New survey found that about 3% of all road raid incidents lead to physical altercations overall. And this is an astonishing number. 86% of people say that they have been the victims of road rage. Although I think people have been playing with the, uh, with the definition of what road rage is. Somebody gives you the finger. Is that road rage or is somebody just pissed off because of your crappy driving or their crappy driving or both people driving crappily? I just made up a word there. According to a new study, one in five households, somebody has a food allergy. That's a lot. An L.A. freeway was temporarily shut down yesterday after a truck towing a trailer of horses overturned. I heard the horses are in stable condition. Stable condition. President Tricky Dick Nixon on this date in 1974 announced he would resign. Anybody miss him? And J.C.'s Eye Candy today, when Chris Jenner, who you know better now as the Kardashian's mother, when she turned 30, she made an awful, horrific music video back in 85. And O.J. and Nicole were in it. And it's awful. And somebody needs to apologize to a Re Rebecca Black that Friday's ago because this is officially the worst thing that you have ever seen. It is sung to the tune of I Love L.A. by Randy Newman. It is the new worst music video ever. Rebecca Black, you're off the hook. The Kardashians' mother made it back in 1985. Check it out. JC's Eye Candy right below what you're looking at right now. All right. Rock and roll poll question before it starts to rain on me here, which it feels like it's going to do any second. What about those laser pointers? Should we get rid of them? Uh, please answer that question. Do you want to ban the sale or do you want to have a plane come down or a helicopter come down or somebody blinded because people are using these things? And I I'm just not sure they're necessary, folks. Maybe you disagree. If you do, that's fine. Answer, please, in the corner. We'll have results for you tomorrow. That's it. JC's Daily Dose for Monday, August 8th, 2011, a combined venture with Mind Active in beautiful downtown Brentwood. In the meantime, we've beaten this one to death. Have a good one. See you later. Bye. Bye.